this must be my dream. I gotta wait before I found you. This must be my dream. Go away for you, boy. Wake me from my dream. Okay. All of that to say, <laughs> I've literally been channeling the 1975. This must be my dream. I don't know what was. No, baby. Oh my gosh. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Anyways. So I'm channeling that song. I've been channeling for multiple, multiple days now. Um, it's really giving the end of an era the end of struggling, the end of hard times, the end of just the end of a dark, a dark age era uh, for some of you that are watching this. I don't know where everybody is on the timeline. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like this is a love reading just because this must be my dream, but I also feel like this love is and all in all in comp compass uh, this love is all <laughs> I don't know how to say that I don't know maybe I'm I'm just thinking too hard but this love is going to be fruitful in all areas so the love of course is going to be successful as the love itself but it's also going to lead to your success in career your success in finances your success in just all around wish fulfillment like when we think about the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is not just wealth it is the abundance of great health uh family um wealth and wealth health all that shit so yeah we're gonna just pull some cards i think i'm gonna start with the uh this deck i forgot what the fuck this shit is called the box is all the way up there but i'm gonna start with this deck i really like these they're tiny and they're easy to shuffle they're honestly one of my favorites What are the messages you wish for me to communicate to the collective that is watching this video? My intentions are to get out messages that are going to help people. Okay, these cards actually came out the last time. So we got deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Healing family issues. You, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, we got retreat and codependency. Uh, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So you could have been in a period of time of being codependent on certain addictions because of family issues that you were experiencing. I mean, this addiction probably helped you cope for a while. It helped you cope with the issues that you were experiencing within your family dynamic but i feel like ultimately it turned into a codependency to help you through actually healing from these family issues um you probably could have found out like others uh, some sh people being deceptive and shit like that um which caused you to just to retreat disconnect from the world you could also have decided to do that with your person okay I swear, my eyes never not have side crust. Um, I really need an ice cream because the one I got is really not adding up. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That's cute. So I feel like with that card, me. So, okay, so you went through all that, you actually healed, you moved forward from that um, deceptive area of your life, you actually put in the time and energy to heal from that situation. I feel like this is 
this put you on this like removed you from the past so instead of thinking about the past you started thinking more about the future which is you know once you start thinking about the future it's uh, you start visualizing uh your manifestations and like how these things are going to come to fruition for yourself which is a really good thing um and then we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I can't tell if she wants something or if she's just watching TV and she's excited. Um, <laughs> sorry about the noise in the background. I don't have a daughter. Um, yeah, so you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like by releasing the past and letting go of just the pain from the past, it's allowed you to actually enjoy your present moment it's allowed you to just be present and actually enthralled in what you're currently experiencing rather than continuing to focus on the past and things that no longer serve you um this all to me this must be my dream okay that is it's giving the <laughs> it's giving um I went to sleep dreaming about this and woke up with it, bitch. Fuck is you saying? I woke up in a new Bugatti. Okay. Somebody's getting a Bugatti? Or a, a sports car? Somebody's getting a sports car? Okay. Be careful. Don't don't put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> um, no, burn, no burnouts. I mean, I guess you could do burnouts. Just be careful that you don't pop your tires, I guess I would say. Um, I'm actually going to use my tarot deck now just to pull some extra cards because I feel like tarot always gives a little bit more of a juicier nature to the story. Oh, yeah. Uh, three of Cups in reverse and the Devil in reverse. There is a releasing. Um, so, yeah, these... So, yeah, it could be family members or it could be friends that you consider to be family. It could be... Um, these things were attached to uh, the very materialistic realm of existence and I feel like the person I'm speaking to is not a materialistic person whatsoever you care more about the healing journey um, love and light you care more about nature than you do about you know going shopping at the mall like you're more likely to wear flip-flops than gucci slides um and, but if you wear a gucci don't don't trust me don't don't feel bad if you want to spoil yourself and get the gucci slides because i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm definitely getting some gucci slides just because like they're cute like <laughs> they're cute okay um yeah spoil yourself to say the least <laughs> So I started to shuffle and then the full card came out in reverse. So these people could have been plotting on your new beginning. These people could have been plotting on your new journey. Or this could have been people that you met along a new journey that you decided to take if you started a new path. Um, but just as quick as you took that path, you realized that you weren't condemned to stay attached to Th that reality like you realize that you can move forward and progress and actually choose another path that is more of divine nature so we got the ace of pentacles a gift from the divine herself uh, so yeah i'm hearing new career opportunities um the five of cups came out with it but I feel like the Five of Cups is a past energy. Even if you pay attention to the skies. Like, this was how it was before, and this is how it is now. Like, it was a little bit darker. You know, the waters were a little bit, yeah, like, I don't know if I should go swimming right now. But as time has went on, you have, you have allowed yourself to be renewed just like the tide has allowed itself to be renewed like you know the water that hits the shore isn't the same water that's hitting the shore if you get what i'm putting down um 
yeah, like just not crying over spilled milk, taking taking the chance to actually take new opportunities and go after what it is that you want. Releasing the attachment to the past allowed your energetic field to be opened up to new opportunities and new blessings. And with you being in a new frame of mind and just being in a different place in your life, I feel like this is what is going to guide you to guide, not even to, but through this new beginning, um, which is really fucking beautiful. If you ask me, five of swords came out. So some of you could be still like unknowingly, you could still be a little bit cold or like, you could be a little bit cold to um, not cold, but you could still kind of be in the energy of like, I need to protect myself kind of shit. Like, like, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> You kind of be in that energy where, like, new people, you could unknowingly, like, be very, like, sketched out by people. And, like, unknowingly, you just kind of are dealing with them in a very sharp manner. Um, and this could just be because maybe you're still holding on in a way that you're not realizing of expectations of the past. So maybe you think that you know, the past situation is going to be like the present situation. And I really feel like you should definitely let that the fuck go. I think you're learning how to, and these new opportunities and these new beginnings and these new starts are going to help you see that and then help you release that. Cause you're also attracting people who are going to be patient with you and, you know, give you time to, progress out of you know being a wounded warrior um which is really good i feel like it's all a part of your healing journey because you know the healing journey re really never ends death okay so we got the death card and the four of swords so you could have been in the period or could be still in a period of uh just recalibrating recouping yourself um and with the death card, I feel like there is an ending coming to that because you can only stay inside for so long. <laughs> like, let me speak for myself when I say that. Like, you can only stay inside for so long. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, there is the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like, you're just, you're, you're releasing you're really just releasing like you're letting go of all this shit with the death card because you want this new beginning and you want this new beginning to not be tainted with things from the past like when you walk into your new life you don't want to bring the hurt of the past like for example for me oh bitch okay sorry <laughs> the empress came out but let me say what i was gonna say for me it's been um damn i can't remember i seen the empress card and i was like bitch fuck the past what we finna what we finna do though um <laughs> super abundant um really stepping into this abundance energy abundant and always even in happiness like uh for me, I had the my relationship to the past. So talking about the past, I realized why people say like, oh, you shouldn't bring up the past, blah, blah, blah. It's not about bringing up the past. This is about the matter of how you refer to the past. If you refer to the past in a way that still displays um, disdain or hatred for what happened, that clearly means that you haven't healed from that situation and moved on, which is why you talk about it in the way that you do. But a person who has healed from a, particular situation can uh bring up the past and talk about it in a in a light that displays understanding of what happened and then also just acceptance and progression like there is I can tell people what happened to me without the extra without the extra the extra of well, this person did this to me, and I don't even fucking understand why they would do that. Like, this bitch, blah, blah, blah. Instead of talking shit, I'm just like, yeah, this is what happened, and this is where I am now, based on what the fuck 
I'm coming from, um, which is a good thing. So, bitch, the Empress came out very abundant, very fruitful. Letting go of the past really is what is helping you tap into this abundance energy. Uh, I think it's also you realizing that you've been, you are, you are abundant without absolutely nothing. Like people place abundance and wealth into materialistic things. But for spiritual people, we understand that the abundance really lies in our soul. Like the capacity to still have emotions and still display our emotions and share our emotions. The capacity to have sympathy for other people and uh, just to be there for others. Uh, I feel like, yeah, the Seven of Cups also came out. So this is you choosing this abundance versus all the other bullshit that was presented to you or that you could have chosen which is really good for you um this is your dream like this is literally the shit that you've been dreaming about like you're stepping into your new reality i'm so proud of you so the page of wands and the Knight of Wands, I feel like I need to clear. I mean, Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands, I'm going to clarify this with this tarot deck. Because I feel like this is a love message filled with passion. It's going in. <laughs> it's going in dry and it's coming out. Okay, I'm, I'm channeling WAP for some reason. Somebody has WAP. Um... Somebody has WAP, and somebody's really happy about that. So we got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, it's crazy pulling the passion card with the, with you know these being wands, wands being passion, playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit to. Sorry. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Aww. So I'm it's finna get it's finna get real moist around this bitch. <laughs> um uh, I'm uncomfortable. I, I'm not uncomfortable. I bless you. Um I am I have, I'm shy, like, I'm shy, <laughs> okay, it's very shy, it's giving goosebumps, it's giving, my daughter needs a drink of water, here you go, you want some? There you go, so, passion and playfulness, so yeah, that's pretty much what is coming in with this person this person is bringing in passion they're gonna bring you back into connection with your inner child she's like growling at me do you want more um So then I'm also looking at the cards on this deck. So worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Give your relationship a chance. Love. Love yourself first. Past life relationship. Reconciliation. Oh, yeah, baby. The... Somebody's coming in. Like, I don't know who's coming in. It sounds like either a past life connection. So maybe like a twin flame type of vibe. Um, definitely, if you're doing the deed, make sure you wrap it up. Because I'm definitely hearing babies on babies on babies on top of babies. Like, if, <laughs> if, you're, not, if you're not there yet, definitely, um, yeah, protect yourself. But all of that to say, there's a lot of new opportunity coming in for you. There's a lot of things that are going to help you put, 
put yourself at ease. I feel like you're just in a state of being ready for a new beginning and the universe is about to bless you with that new beginning because of all the hard work you've done to move on and actually grow from the past like not just move on from the past but to heal yourself and grow you're manifesting things that are extremely extremely abundant like like you may have asked for something and you um you're probably going to get more of what more more than what you asked for so definitely be on the lookout for that keep your energy cleansed Keep meditating, keep doing yoga, keep whatever spiritual practices it is that you've been taking. Continue to do that. Remain open and positive to all new uh, opportunities that come your way. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.